Hey, Rakia. <laughs> I'm here, Brooklyn. Hey, hey, hi, hello. <laughs> I've been on. I've been coming on lately, I think. Oh, man, look at all these people. Look at all these hearts. I feel so loved. Hello. Oh. We've been busy. I understand. When I tell you the devil is upset. Hey, do you? You got this folk spoiled. <laughs> hey, hello. When I tell you the devil is upset. The Bible calls him the prince of the power of the air. The air is eight degrees right now. Eight degrees outside. Eight degrees Fahrenheit outside. The devil is upset. He's trying to freeze us out. Eight degrees? Listen here. This weather is childish. Eight. Eight. Do y'all hear me? The wind was blowing. It was picking up snowflakes and dirt and blowing it in my eyes. I'm trying to tell y'all. The devil, the prince of the power of the air. The air is outside blowing and it's cold and freezing. Uh, 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 I'm about to move with my family in California. Carla in Brooklyn, I'm on my way. Listen, teach me how to take pictures and we can just live off of that. I'm telling you, I'm moving. Y'all about to start seeing scopes from Connecticut. I thought about Florida because I already got a church in Florida. Yeah, I did hear about the Supreme Court passing. Oh, but what you don't know is I'm going to come on with 17 layers to church tomorrow. I'm going to start my car an hour ahead. With wind, yes. The prince of the power of the air has been loosed in Connecticut. Y'all don't understand how this is detrimental. Like, this is serious. Now, let me teach y'all folk who's in the cold areas. If it's 20, if it's 30 or below, right? If it's 30 or below and you have a car, if you don't have gas in your car, your pipes will burst. So make sure you got some gas, some fuel, some, some, some mo uh, mobile, some Sunoco, something in your car. Bless you, Bishop. This devil is outside blowing the wind and, and freezing. It's eight degrees. I don't think y'all understand this. Now, this ain't no Shondo cold. God ain't, uh-uh, this ain't Shondo cold. This is, this is stuff I won't say because my bishop is online cold. I mean, this is cold. This is, I mean, I, I walked outside and okay, I've been warm all day, a little bit hot. Oh, but when that wind smacked me in the face... The wind smacked, it smacked me in the face. That's the devil. I need everybody to do me a favor. We're about to have prayer meeting. Y'all ready for prayer meeting? We're going to pray. Oh yeah, this will bust your pipes. You better get you some gas in your car. Because gas don't freeze, you'll be all right. Oh, it's totally disrespecting me. Okay, we love to have prayer meeting, guys. We're going to pray that God turn the heat up. Because we understand that he's the most powerful. So we're going to pray that he turns the heat up. We need more heat. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm someone who don't like summer. I don't. I don't complain about winter. But now this, oh, this kind only comes out through fasting and praying. So we need to pray. If my people, <laughs> which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. Then will I hear from heaven. Now, we already fasted. We need to pray. I'm talking about we need to pray until it hits about 50 degrees. I can't get no help. If, if Joshua can make the sun stand still, imagine what we could do if we pray. <laughs> I'm calling a national day of prayer starting now. Yes, a national day of prayer. 
National Day of Prayer. Go to Zimbabwe. <laughs> ridiculous. I'm trying to tell you, Bishop, it is ridiculous. I think I might have to turn my heat up tonight. Open the oven. I don't know if y'all remember about the days when we were in those, you know, them days <laughs> for some of us long ago, from some of us short time ago, where you had to turn on the oven. Oh, okay, you remember. <laughs> I didn't even have to say it all the way. Yeah, we might have to turn on the oven tonight. Sit in my little prayer chair, open that oven, get me some good old hospital socks. I, I got some somewhere. I'm trying to tell you. This, this is, this, oh, man. Nah, Brooklyn, you, you don't know about them days. <laughs> Thank God for your mom. She paid the price for you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, it, it's so cold that Jack Frost quit. That's how cold it is out here. It's eight degrees. There's more fruit of the spirit than degrees outside. Do y'all understand this? <laughs> y'all don't understand what I'm trying to tell y'all tonight. There is more fruit of the spirit than degrees outside. Oh man. But watch this. God just gave <laughs> God <laughs> God just oh my goodness. I'm a comedian tonight. God just gave me this revelation though. For the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal. What does that mean? Right here. Y'all see that? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The seat warmer is going on high. Oh, God. The seat warmer is going on high. Oh, the seat warmer is on high now. You better understand for, ev for everything. There is a defense. I got my defense on now. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, buddy. All right. I got to go find some food and get ready to stay in the house until, until. Listen. Now, in, on a serious note, for those of us who are in the cold, plan accordingly. There still will be church tomorrow. Plan accordingly. Because there still will be church tomorrow. Amen. So find yourself in the house of the Lord. Anybody who know me, I don't care where you go. Go somewhere. There still will be church tomorrow, no matter what. So plan accordingly. Bring you a blanket just in case the church heat ain't on right. Come on here. Bring. We're going to have blanket service tomorrow. Bring you a blanket. And if anybody asks what it is, tell them it's your prayer blanket. Amen. But should nothing keep you from the house of God tomorrow. So. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm going to stop. <laughs> Before somebody have a blanket anointing service, let me stop. Y'all going to be like, oh, bring your blankets. We're going to anoint your blankets. <laughs> Prayer blankets. You, you've been having a problem uh, resting, but I got blankets for you. That's it, Bishop. 21 Hunters Lane, 10 a.m. We will be in the temple on tomorrow. For thirty nine ninety five. Oh, it is income tax season, so there's all types of scams I'm, I'm sure going on right now. How many people want a prayer blanket? I, I will especially pray over these blankets from the dollar store for $39.95. I got to go. But um, yes, on a serious note, make sure you're in church tomorrow. So plan accordingly. Wrap up. Bring a blanket. Bring a hoodie. Do whatever you got to do because you need to be in church on tomorrow. You still got to worship God if you're in the areas that are cold. So find yourself in somebody's church. And internet church is not church. If you have two healthy legs and if you have breath in your body, you need to not be on the internet tomorrow, but in somebody's church. So make your way there. All right. 21 Hunters Lane, Norwalk, Connecticut. That's where I'll be. So I'll be traveling through the cold. Uh-huh. But guess what? I'll be in, I'll, I will be accountable and we won't talk about accountability tonight, but I will be accountable. All right, guys, I'll be on a little bit later. I want to, no, I'll be on. Yeah, I'll be on a little bit later. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about later. But I, I'm going to be on tomorrow morning praying for y'all because some of y'all sad about this demon called Cupid um, and you're letting him defeat you. So I'm going to be on tomorrow morning praying with you guys. So when y'all hear that notification, click the button. You ain't even got to be fully awake. Just click the button tomorrow morning. I'm going to be on with y'all. We're going to be praying uh, against that spirit known as Cupid 
and y'all little emotions that's all messed up because y'all ain't got nobody getting you chocolate. Go buy your own chocolate. And if you want to hear my suggestion, buy your chocolate on Monday because it's going to be discounted. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be discounted. So buy your chocolate on Monday. All right. All right. Yeah, Cupid is a demon. It's a, it's a demon. And it's actually a demon of mind control. Trying to force you to fall in love with folk. That That's voodoo. But anyway, I'm going to leave y'all alone. All right. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you maybe tonight, but definitely tomorrow morning. Praying for your emotions, your will, your intent, your heart. And that spirit named Cupid. All right. Talk to you later. Invite somebody. Watch the replay. Enjoy your life. High five.